Hi, right, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is taking a five ounce plastic cup and shrinking it down. So what you need for this experiment is five ounce plastic cups, some Sharpies, multiple colors help, a bowl to be able to press it down to help it get it completely flat, a cookie sheet, and some parchment paper so you don't get that ink onto the cookie sheet. We're gonna do the experiment next. All the uh, listed things you need will be in the description below. And let's have some fun, make some art. So the five ounce cups need to be a number six recycled plastic. And so that's very really important because the clear plastic ones like the eight ounce cups do not work. So I kind of skipped the step where you design the cup. I just designed them so you don't have to watch me draw. Everyone's got a masterpiece, so whatever you like. But one thing I did that was interesting, I, most of the other videos I've seen, they only do the outside. So when you do that, the bottom becomes white. So I decided to design the outside and the inside. Now, of course, the inside's a little harder to design, but you do get a color picture. And if you're gonna make this an ornament, um, then you're going to want it designed on both sides. So here's my start of my masterpieces. I got the oven set for 425, and I'm going to place them into the oven. It takes about 30 seconds at 425. You just keep checking on them, and we'll close it up. And checking it about 10, 12 seconds later, you can see they're partly down. About 25 seconds, they're almost down. And then when they're all the way down, pull them out quick, put parchment paper on top of them, and place a bowl to, to smash them down flat. Some of them might need a knife like this one to pull out the plastic a little bit or even let in a little longer. Um, watch out, it is very hot. And then once you get it down, uh, put the parchment paper on and the bowl again and repeat that process till they're all flat. And then you'll have your end results. So this last one got two wrinkles, so I'm going to have to try to put it back in to straighten it out. So here's my end result. You can see the outside of the cup and the inside of the cup. So you do get that double design. A lot of times everyone just does the in outside. Right there is a couple Christmas trees. Um, it's harder to design on the inside. It's not as easy as you think. There's my outside. This one didn't get as flat. I put it back in a second time. I guess occasionally every once in a while they don't work. Writing words is pretty cool. You know, science is fun. Um, and it's brought by Kids Fun Science. So if you try these, let me know what kind you try. Here's the second set I did. Um, and here I got the, like the candy cane um, and a couple different things. A smiley face. Uh, it kind of works really good, Christmas trees. So um, I believe this is only on the outside, though. Um, that's why I switched into the uh, both sides. So I put it in at 425 again, and we'll close it up. And it takes about uh, 30 seconds, and you should be able to have them out. Smashing them down again. This time I didn't use parchment paper, but then I got ink on the bottom of the bowl which isn't gonna go over very well at the household. So uh, that's why I used parch parchment paper the first time uh, uh, when I showed this. When I pull it up, remember that it cools off pretty quick. Um, I did not do a design on the inside, so it's all white on the other side. Um, and that's why I started doing the both colors. And here's the end results there. Um, it is kind of addictive. Once you get going one, I started making some more. Uh, but once again, this isn't on the inside color um, right here. You can see a couple different designs. It's a lot of fun, and um, you guys get a chance. You should give this a try. Post in the comments below uh, what kind of designs you did or how it turned out. All you have left is to put a little uh, punch a hole in it and put a tree, tree hook in it, and you've got yourself a, a Christmas ornament or a possibly a keychain. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you did, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching.